We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. Tonight, the president's task force announcing new restrictions at a surprise Saturday press conference. If you don't have to travel, I wouldn't do it. All of Italy, a country of 60 million people, is now effectively a red zone. The outbreak has now led the State Department to issue a rare warning urging every American against cruise ship travel. Shelves stripped bare as Australians prepare for a pandemic. Tensions flared at Woolworth's Chalora around 7 o'clock this morning when three women became involved in a toilet paper tussle. Hundreds of shoppers rush into a Los Angeles Costco this morning with this warning. Supplies are being rationed to keep up with the unprecedented coronavirus panic. survived our first overnight backpacking trip that we've ever gone on as a couple and it's a little rough right now this morning it's cold but we got a fire going right over here <laughs> we got some coffee so that's good and it was nice I mean we spent a good well we we hiked like what we side like maybe five six miles so yeah we, we showed up here at South Mountains State Park uh, came to our our campsite here with our new REI Half Dome 2 Plus tent and sh had the campsite all to ourselves out here and then we decided with a really nice creek right down here and then we decided that we'd take a hike and uh, I knew it was marked on the map as strenuous, but what that meant was that basically for three quarters, three quarters of it, it was up. <laughs> and uh, so we got tired and we saw some really neat waterfall. And I'll put uh, some shots of that waterfall up there. After checking in at the ranger station, we parked the truck and then followed the nature trail along the river to the picnic area where we took Shiny Trail, which followed Shiny Creek until we got to our campsite, and this is where we spent the night. And then the five mile day trail that we talked about was a combination of the HQ trail, which joined the Upper Falls Trail, which was strenuous because it was all uphill for about oh until about a mile on the upper falls trail at which point then we started to descend to the top of the falls and then once we got to the falls there were strenuous steps literally to drop down right next to the falls to then rejoin at the picnic area to come back to our campsite so that is actually what completed are about our five mile day hike that I talk about and uh, yeah then we came back and then we spent about oh, I don't know four or five hours tending to our fire down here because what else are you gonna do when you're out in the woods well I mean there's other things you can do but 
what we wanted to do was make a fire. So that's what we did. We decided to make a fire. And so we foraged for wood and all that kind of stuff, and that was fun. We were hoping that we would have a nice night sky, but it was cloudy all night, so we didn't get to see stars or the... Oh, but we did, yes, but we did get to see bats, and that was cool. Right at twilight, it was, there was like two or three of them flying around just right above our head. It was really, really cool. And we knew that the sleeping was going to suck. And uh, so, and yeah, it sucked. <laughs> so uh, we decided, or I decided, I guess, to be fair is, it's like, well, we kind of bought all this stuff fairly recent. And so we're like, well, let's hold off on buying, you know, the, the sleeping pads. And we needed the sleeping pads last night because I slept for maybe a, a couple hours and I got up at like 2.30, 3 o'clock, came out, made more fire <laughs> till like, I don't know, 5 o'clock or something like that. Then went and passed out, I think, to about 7. And now here we are about 7.30 or so, just, just right about sunset. Of course, we're down here in the valley in the woods. So you really can't. Oh, it's 8.10 right now. <laughs> And so the sun's rising right over here behind me, but of course you can't see it because all the woods and the mountains and everything. But for our first couples overnight, and we are not these young bucks that are out there on YouTube, right? Where they're all, you know, young and oh, we're just trying to find ourselves and all this. We're middle aged. <laughs> so we're aching right now and trying to warm up, and we're going to be cooking our breakfast skillet freeze-dried breakfast skillet which is actually going to taste really really good because it'll be it'll be warm so but it was an experience I, i'd do it again i had a lot of fun i i like the whole idea of the of the overnight what's that with a sleeping pad with a sleeping pad oh yeah with a sleeping pad yeah yeah but i mean the tent was great mm -hmm. the sleeping bags were good yeah. the packs we can probably we'll probably maybe get different packs and all that but i'll probably we need to do it more before we really have like any type of like reviews or our you know our, our loadout and our packs and all that kind of stuff but it was a lot of fun to basically show up come here do a hike set up camp do a hike come hang out around the campsite build a fire right yeah it was cool so we will definitely do it again but yeah, we are at South Mountains State Park in North Carolina. We're at the Shiny Creek Backcountry Campsites. And really, really, really nice uh, park. It is very, I don't want to say, I'll say mountainous, but it has a lot of ups and downs, right? I think it has up to like 3,000 vertical feet that you can do on trails. And who knows what we did <laughs> yesterday, but it was a lot. <laughs> so... Your Fitbit said 90 flights of stairs. So 90 flights of stairs on the trail that we did. But uh, it's beautiful out here. It's a beautiful morning. We, we got some clouds and stuff, but it's about just, but they're broken. So about 900 feet? yeah, about 900 feet is what we, what we did. So yeah, really, really cool. So we just need to come out here and take a break from all the craziness. Cause we decided to have our first <laughs> overnight backpacking trip that we've ever done right in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic so but yeah we just need to get out here take a break from all that what do we call it craziness that's in the world right now so yeah pretty cool so we'll head our back home and we'll see you on the flip side <laughs> forcing a handhold I don't want to let it go